here we are to study another method of solving first order first degree ordinary differential equation so in this video i'm going to present to you linear equations uh, is a method of solving first order whereby the first thing we need to do is to look for the integrating factor and when do we use this method i will also introduce that concept to you as well The first thing is this, how do I identify this type of problem? What exactly do I need to know so that I can know the method to apply? Don't forget that we've learned uh, like three methods now. So when do we use this method to solve first order first degree ODE? The first thing is this, you look for the function fx, y and you will see that we only use method when uh, your fx, y is in terms of q of x minus p of x multiplied by y that is when we use this method let me show you some examples example one that is the y dx plus p of x y now you will notice that um, anything that is multiplying y it must be a function that is depending only on x and at the same time the other side we have it to be k of x let's consider example two in this case now what is my p of x my p of x is five times x to power zero don't forget that any to power zero is what is one so i have five and my q of x is what is measure two x example three you will notice that here my p of x is minus one then times x to power zero why my q of x is what is x then example four in this case we notice that i'm having x multiplying the y dx but according to the principle is a must for me to make the y dx the leading term it must not have any coefficient and you can see that in this example form we have x which is an independent variable multiplying the y dx so it's very important for us to divide both sides by x in that case you now see that your p of x is what is 1 over x next is to consider example 5. in this case my p of x is actually cut x what about my k of x my k of x is what is cos x so one thing you can notice here is that um we have the p of x multiplying the dependent variable y please take note of that then the next example we have one x plus one multiplying by the y dx so in this case we are to make the y the s the subject or formula so how do you go about it you need to divide both sides by x plus 1. In that case, we now see that my p of x is what is 1 over x plus 1. What about my q of x? The power will reduce because you have to divide it by x plus 1. So let's consider example 1 now. In this case, this is the problem we want to solve. And you can see now that this is a typical example of linear in such a way that in such a way that um, p of x is y and q of x is what is exponential 2 is. The first thing we need now is called integrating factor. And how do we get into factor? Well, integrating factor is the same thing as exponential integral p of x dx. What do I mean by that? I will now say my integrating factor is what is exponential integral. What is my five? I have five dx. And how do you do this one? You integrate this. If you integrate this, you have five x, which means that your integrating factor is by five to the power what? exponential five x. Now, what is the secret? Now, let me tell you the secret. The secret is this. You multiply both sides of the problem by the integrating factor. This is my equation 1. This is my equation 2. So you multiply both sides of equation 1 by exponential 5x. I don't need to write it. Let me just do it for you. You will see. Uh, you multiply this one here. Can you see this? You multiply this one by the integrating factor. You give me exponential 5x, the y dx, then plus 5y. You multiply this one too by the integrating factor. Then is equals exponential 2s exponential 5x. That's why I was saying that after you've obtained the integrating factor, the next step now is for you to multiply both sides of the problem with the integrating factor. That is why you see here we multiply exponential 5x by this. You multiply exponential 5 by s. You multiply this one also by exponential 5x. Now do not notice something. This expression we have here is the same thing as d dx of do you know what we are looking for the dependent variable is what is y what is the integrating factor of exponential 5x then is equal to what about this one this one will give me what if you look at it you notice that you can add it together to give me 2x plus 5x now look at what i'm saying here now if you keep y and you differentiate exponential 5x do you know what you get you get this expression 
if you keep exponential 5x and you differentiate to what you get is this expression, which means that this is correct. So the next thing we are going to do now is that um, we integrate both sides. So we integrate both sides. Don't forget, how did I obtain this? D dx of the dependent variable I'm looking for multiplied by the integrating factor. And you now notice that if you keep exponential 5x, which is this, and you differentiate, if you keep exponential 5x, you differentiate y, you will have the first expression. If you keep y and you differentiate exponential 5x, don't forget that 5 will come down. You now have 5 exponential 5x, you will get this expression. So that's how we obtain this. So we cannot integrate both sides. So if you integrate both sides, integral will take care of this. And you now have y exponential 5x then is equals to uh, this one will give me dx. So if you integrate this one, this one will give me exponential 7x over 7 then plus c. So what is the next thing now is that uh, you divide both sides by exponential 5x. So that will give us y is equal to exponential 7x divided by 7 then exponential 5x then plus c over exponential 5x. You now see that this is your y is equal to what? And you don't forget that this one can come up to give me 1 over 7 exponential 7x minus 5x then plus c exponential minus 5x and here this will give me y is equal to 1 over 7 then exponential 2x plus c exponential minus 5x so let's solve this problem now in this case we are having x to y dx plus y is equal to x to power 3 and looking at this method you will see that um, i don't have any other method i don't have any option to, than to use the method of uh integrating factor so i need to first of all find my p of x which is 1 over x don't forget this p of x before you pick your p of x make sure that the y dx has nothing multiplying it because in this case if you go and use your p of x to be 1 definitely you will not get the correct answer so the first thing is this you divide both sides by x so that you have your p of x to be 1 over x and you have your k of x to be, to be x squared now let me proceed and give you another form of the differential equation now you now see the the y dx is 1 over x y x squared integrating factor is the next thing i will need to consider and how do i find my integrating factor i will use s integral uh, exponential integral p of x dx so what is my p of x that's one over x then i will have exponential integral as one over x dx and what is integral one over x that is ln x then i will have exponential ln x then what is exponential ln x the answer is what is x so the next step now is that then uh, i will need to multiply both sides of the problem by the integrating factor but note i will not use the first problem again i will use the second one which is the y dx plus one over x multiplied by y is equals x squared don't forget that is why i picked the correct p of x so in that case you will now see now that I have multiplied the integrating factor which is x by everything so i have the problem now can you now see can you see that here yeah, I, I just put it that x multiply one over x then multiply by y you don't forget that x will cancel x then you have one but before we proceed you will notice that um, that thing i underlined is still the same thing as d dx of y times x that is it look at it let me show you clearly keep x differentiate y you have x the y dx then at the same time keep x dif keep uh x uh, keep y then differentiate x you will now see that you have one which is one times one then that is how you obtain but guess what i can't stop like that so what is the next thing now is for me to integrate both sides so by the time i integrate both sides i will have integral d dx then multiply that multiply and you know i said something the other time i said it's even very simple the secret is this the secret is just write d dx then write a bracket the dependent variable you are looking for you write it then multiply by the integrating factor it will, it will give you the correct something you are looking for so now the next thing is by the time you integrate both sides you will see that um, integral will take care of d dx then you can have uh y times x then by the time you integrate x to the power 3 dx you will get x raised to the power 4 over 4 then plus c so with that uh, we cannot get our final solution we need to divide both sides by x because what we are looking for is what is y so we now say that a yeah, by the time you divide both sides by x then you can see that x over 4 will reduce to x over 3 and we have c uh, multiplied by x is power what minus 1